the intake valve is opened, and as the steam is forced in, the piston expands, doing work. Since the steam comes from the hot reservoir, that is, the boiler at constant temperature, we take this step to be isothermal. At point B, the intake valve is closed, and the hot steam cools and expands with no intake of new steam. We take this step to be an adiabatic expansion. At the point of greatest expansion, the piston starts back up. The exhaust valve opens, and the cooled steam is exhausted to the atmosphere. This is an isothermal compression. It is easier to compress a cool gas than a hot gas. Finally, the exhaust valve closes, and the piston carries on to complete the cycle by compressing the gas. As it compresses the gas, it heats it back up to the starting temperature. This is an adiabatic compression. The total work is the sum of the work around the cycle. A to B and B to C are expansions, so work is done on the surroundings, and the values are therefore negative. The compression steps, C to D and back to A, have positive values. The sum is the net work done.